neuroscientist Dr. Heather Berlin is in the UK to investigate the second superhuman case in the category of speed. A world champion head spinner, Aichi Ono, who can do an incredible 135 revolutions a minute. One of the things I'm starting to think about is how he can get up to those speeds but allow him to rotate so quickly in such a short period of time. Also, does he get dizzy after he spins around like that? I mean, as a kid, I used to spin around for fun and after a few seconds, I couldn't even walk straight. 23-year-old Aichi Ono is visiting London from his hometown, Kyoto. He's a world record holder in unassisted head spinning, meaning he doesn't use his arms to push himself round. When did you first realize that you can spin on your head really quickly? I'd love to see what you can do. Heather wants to observe Aichi's technique as he does 50 practice spins. The requirements for this test are a gyroscope sensor to measure each rotation, a stopwatch, and a smooth floor. Motion analysis expert Carl O'Donovan will help interpret the results. We can determine how fast he's spinning, and we can see as he speeds up and slows down. So are you ready? Yeah. OK. To build up speed, Aichi will be timed from his 10th spin. Head spinning can be dangerous. Do not attempt this. OK, you're at 10. 20. 30. 40. 45. 50. 18.5 seconds. Amazing. Yeah. How do you feel? Do you feel dizzy? No. <laughs> Can you walk a straight line? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, let's take a look at what the data has to say. So his maximum angular velocity was 180 revolutions per minute, which is the equivalent of three revolutions per second. Angular velocity is the number of degrees Aichi's head turns through in a given time. And what these readings show is that, incredibly, Aichi speeds up rather than slows down. We would expect him to be really fast in the beginning when he's pushing off the ground and increasing his speed. That's not where he actually reached his maximum angular velocity, but it's really in the midsection when he then brought his body in close that he really got hit his highest speed. But it's not just Aichi's technique that is incredible. 